Hello my dudes, dudettes, and everything in between. Welcome back to Clive Games. And today we're going to be continuing on with our Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Continuing on with our 2.1 content. Yeah, we finally finished the base 2.0 content in the last episode. Uh, I did say we we're going to start every episode with a dungeon. Uh, I'm going to rectify it. We will do, be doing at least one dungeon each episode, um, but whether we start it or not at the beginning remains to be seen. But let's go ahead and get this mission for the main story. Once again, Mephilia appears to be lost in thought. Leave Ulda. Has it truly come to this? Oh, Clive. Pray tend to Alphano. He is engaged in some business, or rather requires your assistance. Pray be on your way. Alph Alphano awaits you upon you, and I ha have much to think about. Oh, and tell him he shall have my answer in due time. Is it really that big of a deal to determine, oh, should we leave or not? Oh. I mean, you get to leave the desert. That seems like a good thing to me. Plus, they know where we are, the Empire, so we kind of do need to leave. Confound it. She knows what must be done, and still she hesitates. All because of these fanciful rumors. One sec. Uh, okay, yeah, it's working. I should explain. Infilia's mother, well, adoptive mother, was among the great many who perished during the calamity. Flahaman was her name, though you may know her better as the Songstress of Ulda. She was a performer of singular talent and much beloved by the people of Eorzea. Not to mention a certain Charlayan min minstrel. As you may imagine, the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief by her adoring followers, many of whom refused to acknowledge that what had happened, that her body was never found, only served to encourage speculation. Infilia too struggled at first to accept the truth, but as, Fulha as Fulhaman's absence stretched from months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. Until recently, at any rate. For whatever the reason, rumors have once again begun to circulate that Flohaman is alive and well. One of our informants, Father Iliad, has sent word that a woman matching the songstress description has been seen of late at the seaside resort of Casa del Sol. If we could succeed in tracking her down, I have no doubt that any worries that, of, that now plague Mephelia's heart might be assuaged. I need to set forth for Lenoska at once. Let us reconvene there and inquire with Master Gijaru as to the veracity of these rumors. Alright, so in order to help her be less hesitant about leaving, we have to find her long lost adoptive mother. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, but the first um, level 50 dungeon, that because we're not counting the two story ones, because those were long, in case y'all forgot. I mean, how could y'all? Um, it should be right out here. With her. Yep. There is an impish conspiratorial look about Aline. If her injury is allowed, she would sidle. Heard we're in some trade. We're in th heard we're in the same trade. You're in better shape than me, though. A, mish a mishap at the Wanderer's Palace. I know it's a mishap. I don't know why I said that. Nearly did me in. But boy, was it worth it. The calamity drained near half the water from Bronze Lake, and there it was an ancient temple of Oshan. What's it called the pla- what? why is it called a palace then? Beats me. I just went in looking for treasure, me and my feller. It was like a dream, that's what it was like. The water hadn't done a thing. There were gold framed mirrors bright as the moon. We gazed upon ourselves draped in chains of pearl, dancing on a floor of marble and malachite. Like a king and queen, me and my feller. A daring do adventurer like yourself wouldn't say no to a chance like that now, would you? Tell you what, go down to the docks west of Camp's Bronze Lake and talk to Abadai Charazai. Used, used to be a boon companion of mine. He'll ferry you to the place. 
Alright. That's the first dungeon. What are you? Uh, okay, those are other dungeons that we'll pick up later, or at least one of them is. Alright. Before we go, uh, well, let's go ahead and go over to it, and I'll lock it, and we'll do it. If you forgot, the, um, place we're about to go is where we went for our scholar mission. Oh, that's right! I have flying now! Oh my god, Fluffy can fly! <gasps> Look at this! Oh my god, it's beautiful! You're one of Aliens, aren't you? That's... that one's got a ghost in her attic, you know? She keeps sending other adventurers to that damn plate. She calls a palace, thinking you're going to bring her feller back. For was seven of us that day, one of them her feller. My best friend was another. Soon as we walked in, a tonberry attacked. It was dark, and we couldn't get purchase on the floor. It was covered in lake slime and then and blood. What's more there? What's more? What more is there to say? Only Elin and I made it out by the grace of the twelve. Everyone else is dead. Think I'd leave them behind? Leave my brother by another blood? By <laughs> my brother from another mother? I hadn't seen what the Tombari left. I saw no treasure there. Only death. I've said my piece. You still want to see for yourself? That's your business. I'll ferry you there for my adventuring days are over and I'm a boatman of this lake. She thinks they all live, you see. All five of them hiding from the Tombari somewhere in the palace. She tried to flee the infirmary. She told folk about her friends needing rescuing. Then she got all sly. Ah, poor lost Eileen. Oh, uh, that's sad. But I don't care. Mine. I'll do this in mine. We'll take that one. Alright, Wanderer's Palace. Right, and I should. Uh, from here on, you have item level um, requirements. Like, if I didn't have good enough gear, it wouldn't let me into the dungeon. So just keep that aware. If like uh, a lot of times, that's what happens in game. Is like you can't get to the hardest fights in the game because you don't have a high enough armor rating. Because like you have to have, like 480 to get to the highest one, and if you have 470, it's not gonna let you in. And you really wouldn't want to go in with 470 because they hit hard. Oh, the poor Tom Mary. Alrighty. I love how he says go big, but he doesn't even turn on tank stance. There we go. Now he's got to take stance. Alright, ignore these guys. They are not important. I don't care. Whatever he wants to do. Alright, so this is... The bubble, the sacred soil. Or he could just not stay in it. Okay, thanks dude, that's great. Well, he used his ultimate, which puts his health down to zero. And 
mai. Oh. It wouldn't have been so bad if he didn't use that stupid ultimate. I just gotta survive for a few more ticks. There we go. Would you please stop leaving the fucking bubble? I'm not trying to heal every little bit, I'm just trying to keep him above half right now because this idiot used his god dang um, in bone when he was still at half health. Which for um, gun breakers is really bad because no you could have full health. If you press that, it puts you down to 1 HP. hard boss you just literally dodge a couple AOEs he puts poison on everyone which you can take off if you're the healer really simple really basic all right there's that crit shield if you notice, the higher level we get, the less we've been getting crit shields. It's really weird. Alright, reapplying a shield. Putting sacred soil. Using fairy region. After you kill the tomberries, pick up the lantern oils. You need all of them to use on these rusted Nimian devices. See, if he doesn't hit his stupid invulnerable where he gets down to one health, I can keep him alive. Uh, this giant Tom Bear, you cannot attack it and dodge it. Just dodge as much as you can. He 
wants to go there, that's fine. They hit hard. It doesn't look like they hit hard on him, but like that. Oh, please, frick me. Oh my god, no! I can't. I can't do it if he's attacking me. He'll interrupt me. And he's still on me! Thank you! Fuck you, fuck you game! Oh my god, fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you keep picking up the oils. That's the last of the oils, but just make sure you pick them up so I don't have to backtrack like that. Alright. Pretty simple dude. He'll just attack the main boss, really. Or the main target. These guys show up, they do literally nothing. Just kill them really quickly. And then he'll start targeting a random player. There's nothing you can do about it. In a second. Guess it's me. Holy frick on a Oh, 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 I almost died. I bloody almost died. If I didn't have a shield up and my bubble, oh, I would have died. Oh, God. Oh, oh this is going to be, this is a hard pull. Be ready. They like to hit hard. Now, it might seem like I'm healing every little bit, but in the span of a second, it could go from... From full to empty with this many enemies. There we go, alright, cool. Get the oil, I lied, there's more oil. Alrighty, and that's pretty much the dungeon. It's a really quick one if you pull like he did. And then this is also a kind of easy boss. Not um, as easy as Rathatine, but still really easy. So, basically... Just focus on him. Focus on the main boss. You don't really need anything else to do. Other Tom Berries will show up, don't worry about them. Cause you can like see we're burning him down right quick.
and the more time layers you kill, the stronger he gets. So you really don't want to kill him. And he does next to no damage so long as you don't kill a Tom Barry. And that's the dungeon. Super, super easy. I love that little ear move. All right, I'll give it to the tank because he did do half decent. Nope, nope. And a minion! Did I say GG? I don't know if I said GG. I didn't get the minion! Oh! Fuck y'all. Oh my god, fuck y'all. I, I killed that. And I had awful gear. I have basic gear for level 50 stuff. Oh my god. Alright, but that's that dungeon. Real quick, we're going to travel. Yes, I know the main story is here, but we're going to go travel to Banalon, and we're going to go ahead and unlock the um, Ifrit Hard Trial. Grab the set the timer, so I'm going to look how long. We're at 20 minutes. 21 minutes. Okay. Oh, that, that, oh, that, that, that one hit from that, um, mini boss blob. Oh, oh, mm. <laughs> oh my god. All right, Flame Commander. Hi, we thank you for coming. The Flame General will be heartened to hear that you have answered the call. As we have already relayed to the Waking Sands, Ifrit is returned. For the sake of peace in the region, we humbly request that you vanquish him. The primal is to be found in his domain, the Bowl of Embers. To get there, you must use the Beastman Aetherite found within the depths of Zarark, the Almaja stronghold. The Almaja have constructed their own Ethernet from salvaged Aetherite shards. This being the case, you should be able to use it without problem. No doubt you already know this from your fellow Scions, but the present incar in incarnation of Ifrit is far stronger than the last. Facing him with any fewer than seven of your stoutest comrades will be ill-advised. That is all the intelligence we have to share. The rest is in your hands. I shall pray for your victory and safe return. What else you got for me? Oh, no, this person. Okay. So, around 43, you can unlock Beast Tribes. Um, little Stories. What's all this? Oh... Uh, Alright, um, Beast Tribes are little, um, extra things you can do. You have a, you can only do 12 Beast Tribe missions a day. Um, but you gain reputation with them, and the more reputation you gain with them, the more, uh, stuff you can buy from their special vendor. This shouldn't take too long. Now that we can fly... Oh, it used to be such... I have never noticed that in the background. That... That looks like the Amalja... Um... Encampment. Like the... That's where the Amalja live. Oh my god, I never noticed that. That is so cool. Alright. But as I was saying, you, they have special vendors you can buy special things. Um, sometimes it's materials that you use for other stuff. Sometimes it's, excuse me, gear. But half the time you don't need the gear they give you. Um, and then another time, or at least every single beast tribe, I believe, has a mount you can get from them once you reach a certain rank with them. 
but it's a late rank, so it takes days to do it. Come on. I want to... There we go. Okay. Alright, we are out of tuning. Alright. Bowl of embers, hard. Shouldn't take long at all. Um, but yeah, this is an upgraded version of Bowl of Embers. Oh. I need to... I forgot to take that off. Alright. Well, it shouldn't take long. In the meantime... What's my currency at? Six feet tall. We still got plenty of room. Alright, so now we're going to continue on with the... Never mind. I was to say, we're going to continue on with the main story while we wait for it to queue. Yeah, trials take a little bit longer to queue, even for healers. But for healers, it still shouldn't be that long. Because um, they're not the number one way to get experience. They're literally just there for either a one-time done or if you're doing the trial roulette. I'm on DPS, and we couldn't unlock. We won't, and we wouldn't be able to unlock the Titan Heart or the Garuda Heart if we didn't beat this guy, uh, Ifrit Hard first. All of Embers Hard. That is still the best entrance. Oh my God. <laughs> Same deal, tank needs to face Ifrit away, and we, there we go, let's see, who's got tanks there? And, okay. Great job, great, great, great job, people, thank you for... Thankfully, my co-healer is, a. Uh, Same moves, watch out for the explosions. Alright. He just does more damage. He does a, um, a couple more mechanics. They're, I, I say more, but they're basically the same thing. Every now and then, he'll jump off to the side. Watch out for it. He dashes straight through the center. If you're playing 8-man stuff, Please don't, and you're a long range, please do not go all the way out to the edge. There is no reason to be standing all the way out in the edge. Alright. Alright. Now the nails show up. This time there's a bunch of nails. Destroy them all before you attack Ifrit anymore. Normally what happens is the tank takes the one closest to Ifrit while the rest of us focus on the others. He still should be facing... Right, okay. Get in my bubble, get in my bubble, get in my bubble. No one got my bubble. Alright, see it's not that bad. Alright, this summoner is having some hard time dodging these fucking explosions, I swear. This time there's gonna be three, so... Watch out for that. Everyone dodged. Oh, 
they stunned him and he didn't do that ability. I forgot they allow stunning a lot more at the beginning of the game. That is the Ninja Rank 3 LB. It's dope. drops weapons you can spam this if you want for the weapons I don't find the weapons from Ifrit that all that um good but judge me hey I got some combinations or at least aesthetically pleasing they're definitely not the best weapons in the game there's no doubt about that but um all right cool beans and now since we did that uh, fight, the next time we go to the Waking Sands, which will be once we started or finish up this um, main story mission, we can pick up the next trial. Alrighty. Let us see, let us let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to go off. I forgot we stay mounted through teleportation. I don't know why I forgot that, but I just did. Alright, Master Gegeru. Gegeruju? Oh, sweet Siren of the Sands, my Makoto Muse! Why have you forsaken me? Dude, I'm right here, like, uh huh. Titans, Bane, I mean, Clive, what brings you to my humble resort? Lahaman? You mean to tell me the goddess who. goddess made flesh who dealt among us until so very recently was the songstress of Molda? Hey, gads, man! If I had known that, I would have chained her to my bedpost and never, never let her leave. You're a demented little potato, aren't you? Oh, for shame. To think that she now plies her trade for the riffraff off to the west, or wherever she said she was going. It's a tragedy, I say. A tragedy. West, is it? Thank you, Master Gedru. Your information will serve us well. That said, there are any number of places she could be. I shall begin my search by the docks and see if any witnesses might have some knowledge to spare. I'd be most appreciative if you could travel to, onto Wineport and do the same. You got it. Alrighty. I need to change. There we go. Talk to this dude again. Well, if it isn't Clive, the savior of Wineport, to what do we owe the pleasure? Ah, yes, we did receive a customer matching that description. She was so delighted to behold. She was so delight. She was a. She was a delight to behold, to give the woman her due. But her perfume was so ghastly, I had no choice but to eject her from the premises, interfering with tastings. You understand? If she is your quarry, why not consult your blind associate? His olfactory perception is without peer. Given that I could smell the woman from a mom away, I dare say he could smell her from tin. Eh. Oh, this flying is a lifesaver. Eh? You want to know if I've seen a Makoto last by the name of Flahaman? I wish. I haven't seen last of any description for far too bloody long. Count your blessings, my dude. Count your blessings. I see you have had many grand adventures since last we spoke, Clive. If you can tell that just from sniffing me, you perv. You must share them with me sometime. The girl from a little while ago. One does not forget a perfume like that. So robust and intoxicating, yet simultaneously similar or familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. I said as much when we spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked where she might find some of the flowers. So I told her to follow the road south to Raincatcher Gully and then head east after crossing the second bridge. 
The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent you see. If you make haste, you may yet find her there. Alrighty. But that's all the time I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Hope to see y'all next time.